Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to disguise numbers as text in a drop down list in Excel. Here I have a list of five numbers and I want to create a drop down list that would show me these five numbers. So this could be a survey where your user can select uh, a rating from one to five uh, that is displayed in a drop down list. So to create this drop down list in cell E2, first select this cell, go to data tab. Within the data tab, we have data validation, select data validation. In the settings tab, go and select list and in source, I select these five cells and I click OK. So now I have my drop down list, which has these five numbers. But what if I want to give my user uh, an option where he can skip this? He can uh, he's he gets an option to not select any of these ratings. So I want something uh, to be displayed here which says uh, not selected. So to do that, I can simply add another cell here which says not selected. So I type this manually and I change the source for this drop down list. So I again go to data, data validation, and I change this source to include all these six cells now. And now I have not selected displayed here. But the issue with this is that whenever I select a number, that number is returned as you can see in the formula bar. But when I select not selected, text is returned, not selected text is returned here. So if I am using these inputs in some calculation, then I cannot use not selected as a number because it is text. So in this video, I will show you how to uh, select this option, not selected, but still return a zero or a number which we can use in formulas. So to do that, let me first enter a zero here. So this is uh, the number I want. Whenever a user uh, go and check, uh, click on this option not selected, it should return a zero. And to display it in our drop down list, as of now you see a zero is displayed, but I want to have not selected displayed here. So I would use custom number formatting. Remember custom number formatting changes uh, how we see these cells or the value that we see in it, but the underlying value does not change. So to do that, I go to home and I click on this, which opens the uh, format cells, uh, cells dialog box. Uh, you can also uh, open this dialog box by the keyboard shortcut control one. In this, I go to custom and as of now, uh, general category, general formatting is applied. I simply type not selected here within quotes, double quotes, and I click OK. And you can see uh, instantly we have not selected displayed here. Notice that the value, the underlying value is still zero but it is only getting displayed as not selected. So now in my drop down list, I have this option here where the user can go and select this, but it returns a zero. But what if you do not want zero to be displayed here? You want it to display not selected only, but the value should be zero. So to do that, go to the cell where you have this drop down list. In this case, this is E2 again press control one, which is the keyboard shortcut to open number formatting dialog box, go to custom. And I'll show you two ways to do this. First is to give a condition in custom number formatting. So within square brackets, I type if the value is equal to zero. So this is my condition within square bra brackets. And I say, if the value is equal to zero, then I give it not selected in quotes. So whenever the value is zero, then this would show not selected. So now when you have this drop down, you have this option not selected here. When you click on this, this cell also shows not selected, but in fact, the value is zero. So you can use this option in formulas. You can try this. You can uh, maybe do one plus two plus this, and you can see that uh, this would give you three because this is zero. So one plus two plus zero is three. 
So this, these, this is one way to do this. I will show you another way in custom number formatting. Again, press Control One. Here, instead of giving it a condition, I would uh, make use of the fact that custom number formatting is divided into four parts: positive numbers, negative numbers, zero, and text. So you can specify a different format for all these four categories which is positive numbers, negative numbers, uh, zero and text. So to do that I would simply give this condition where I use semicolon twice and in the third category I just type not selected and a semicolon again. So here I have not given any format for positive numbers, no format for negative numbers, but for zero I have given it a format which is not selected. Now let's see what happens. I have not selected displayed here, but what happens when I select one? Nothing gets displayed. This is because I did not provide any formatting for positive numbers. So simply go here and you can either uh, give it a zero or to be on the safe side just write general so general number formatting would be applied in all the other cases but in case of zero this text not selected would be, would be displayed so now you can see when you select any number uh, that number is displayed but when you select this option not selected then the text is displayed Remember that this is only a facade, only what you see. The underlying value is still a number. That underlying value is still a zero. And you can use this cell in your calculations or if you're pulling data based on this selection. So that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. For more such tips and tricks on Excel, visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Thank you and have a nice day.